Super Bowl world record, Please. right? For, First world Please. record, first world record of these Olympics. She gets the first gold for a Venezuelan woman. She had an awesome bookend competition, Serenity. First round, drops the Olympic record, and then last round, fifteen point six seven, the world record. She's so fun to watch jump because the her second phase is so short, relatively speaking. Um, <laughs> so you're like, wait a minute. So bad. <laughs> Or is it great? She's the she's the best jumper of all time. Or is like she's it great? Out, You're right. Yeah, she's figured out maybe everybody else has been doing it wrong, and then she just flies. Maybe everyone else her. has been doing it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> she flies in that last phase. It just it's almost like the 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 second phase is purely just a setup to go crazy far on the third jump, and it was one of those where you know they have the line in the pit that you can see. And sometimes because mm -hmm. the long jump, like you see the mark, but you don't really see the mark. You're like, okay, I, I see where there's a big indentation, but maybe their heel slid back. And it's actually, it's actually shorter than I think. Mm -hmm. And I always think it's longer. And then you see, oh, they got over eight meters in the long jump. But then you're like, oh no, it was actually 789 or whatever. This one was so clearly the world record. It was, it was spectacular to watch. Yeah. The, the line was here. She was here. I mean, it was, it was awesome. So congrats to, to Rojas for the gold and the, and the world record. Congrats to her. I have been watching her for a long time. I just knew this world record was hers, honestly. She has been scraping the line for a while now. And you're right, whenever we see like, the world record in the sand right there, mm -hmm. I thought three other girls beat it, honestly. It's, very, <laughs> the, it's really like the perspective, but when she actually beat it, clear as day. But like you said, her second phase is, I don't know, maybe we're all doing it wrong because after that second phase, I thought she was going to run out of it. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I, and, and we got an interesting comment in the chat. It's like, how can, how can she be that good on the third jump and not be the best long jump in the world? And I, I know I heard a commentator say that too. Like right after she set the world record, she's like, I want to see her in the long jump too, because that, I want to see her third, in the long jump. <laughs> yeah, that, that third, that third jump is, is a basic stand in almost for, for the long jump. She's been fun to watch. She had that great rivalry with uh, a bargain a couple of years ago, two South Africans going at it, but now it's all, it's all Rojas all the time. So yeah, it was, uh, it is. It was I've a cool... always wanted to see, I've always wanted to see the top, top athletes just go into another event because even with like a team Mo, we were looking at her like, Oh, I wonder what she would run in this. I wonder what she would run in this. So I really mm -hmm. just wonder what she would do in long jump. Just, just for fun. Yeah. Yeah. hundred percent. It would be, uh, I mean, just cause she displayed all the attributes. She probably, it was pretty clear. She already had the, the attributes of a, of a good long jumper just based on the, uh, the sheer distance. But then when you add in just how she get, how she got to 1567 was pretty uh, interesting. I also want to see, I know they, the, the stat nerds out there, they'll break it down by phases. I'm excited to see when they break it down by phases and compare it to the old world record, just how different her second and and third phases are. Yeah, she's got a seven, 727 long jump. 727.